Miran C. at the Norwegian American Chamber of Commerce at Eula Board. How did this happen? <laughs> I gotta go back and I'll kind of bring, I know a lot of you out there, but I'll kind of fill in the rest of you on how this happened. Because it wasn't that long ago I thought Vikings were from Minnesota, and Eula Board is something you spank naughty Norwegian kids with at Christmas. <laughs> Five years ago I met Victoria. She's the one to blame. A Norwegian girl from Ballard who was involved with the local Norwegian groups. We got married, and then it began. <laughs> I became a member of the Sons of Norway, the Lake Erickson Lodge, a board member for the Lodge, then vice president of the Lodge. I'm a webmaster for the Lake Erickson website, I MC at Heritage Day in the Fall Bazaar at the Lodge. I've attended a Sons of Norway district convention, played in two Sons of Norway golf tournaments, joined the Norwegian Commercial Club, the Norwegian American Chamber of Commerce. I'm a member of the Nordic Heritage Museum, a Bunak buddy for the Norwegian Ladies Chorus of Seattle. I run their website too. I'm from the Bergen Place. I was great in answer this year for the 17th of May parade, and an MC for five, count them, five Ludovisk eating contests. All in the past five years. This happened. Now I'm your MC for Euler Board. And I've reached the mountaintop. I mean, this is no Ludovisk eating contest, but it's a good thing. And the cleanup is much easier. On a brief, serious note, I gotta say this is one of the greatest holiday traditions I've ever experienced. This is just wonderful. A quick round of applause for the Norwegian American Chamber of Commerce at the Seattle Golf Club. We do this every year. This is the biggest crowd we've ever had for one of these, um, and that we've ever packed in the Seattle Golf Club. And the even more fortunate news is one of the people who couldn't get a ticket was the fire marshal. So one good shape. In preparation for today, I thought I'd, you know, grease my Norwegian skips here and learn the language. So once, once I mastered Trondheim and Stavanger, I started looking into Nordic traditions. Because Scandinavians are big about traditions. They really are. I did some research and found out that in Norway, Santa doesn't drive a sleigh. He actually uses a car to deliver all the presents. And it's a Nissan. A human Nissan. This is my test to see how much of it you've had so far. <laughs> oh, we're just getting warmed up. Normal traditions. There are normal Norwegian traditions. School. That's a great tradition. School. Totally. Oh, school. Oh, school. Oh, school. Got that. That's fun. Another normal tradition is uh, when the folks at American Seafoods buy their table for Euroboard and the price of Akavit stock skyrockets. <laughs> Every year, that's one of those traditions. But I have come across a couple of kind of weird traditions. And they don't go beyond this room, okay? For example, uh, Nina, Dr. Sina, and Ernie will confirm this. Every year she has to watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and shoot Akavit when Herbie announces he wants to be a dentist. <laughs> I want to be a dentist. Herbie wants to be a dentist! <laughs> Every year. I said it was weird, I didn't say it was funny. <laughs> Another unusual Norwegian tradition, I'm assuming it's Norwegian, because it involves Ozzy Kvenhammer. Um, Ozzy always kicks off his holiday season right here at the Yule Board. And I'm not saying he consumes a lot of alcohol. But when they get home, Annalise sticks a wick in his mouth and he stays lit for a week. <laughs> they put him on the front porch. You have to drive by it. Just really puts you in the mood. <laughs> so you can see, I've kind of gotten into this Norwegian-ness of celebrating Christmas without a drop of Scandinavian blood in me that I'm aware of. But just curious today, how many people are not Scandinavian or Norwegian and married into it? Anyone here? Oh, yeah, see? Okay, for you, hold on one second, I have to get my music stand.
For you, I'd like to dedicate this song. Thank you. 